Well, thank you. Well, first, uh, I want to say how honoured I am at the confidence the Secretary General and the Alliance are showing in me by appointing me to this uh, position. Uh, there's an immense challenge ahead of us over the next year to 18 months. It is probably the critical year. Uh, and what we're all seeking to achieve in Afghanistan, the military, uh, the civilians, the entire international community is a stable Afghanistan and a safer world. And I look forward to playing my part uh, in partnership with our international uh, uh, friends and indeed with General McChrystal and the Alliance uh, in achieving that goal. Um, I know there's been a lot of speculation about the nature of the job as I take it over and whether there's going to be an enhanced role and how that all works. I must admit I don't see it that way. I'm taking over from a good friend, Fernando Gentilini, with whom I've worked closely over the past year and I seek to build on the work that he has already achieved um, in this job. In the end, this is not about one particular job, one particular position or, or any individual. It's about uh, ensuring that we have the maximum effort by the international community as a whole under the UN mandate um, ISAF on the military side, all of the NATO partners, the entire alliance working together um, to achieve this objective of a stable Afghanistan and a safer world. We do need more coherence. Everyone has identified that. We do need to ensure that our, our resources and our ambitions are aligned. I believe they now are. Um, and everyone has a role to play in leading that effort in support of the authorities of Afghanistan as we seek to regain the initiative against the insurgency, strengthen the legitimate institutions in Afghanistan and address some of the political tensions that have fueled the insurgency. Critical to that is the cohesion of the alliance and the coalition as a whole and I hope to be able to play my part um, in delivering that agenda. Um, in the end, uh, the relationship with the Afghan authorities is central to everything that we are trying to achieve. Our goals over the next year are to regain the initiative against the insurgency in partnership with the Afghans, to strengthen the Afghan uh, institutions at all levels, district, provincial um, and national, military and civil, um, and to help the Afghan authorities address some of those political issues that really fuel the insurgency, whether those are at local level, tribal, ethnic, uh, or indeed uh, regional. Um, Afghanistan's destiny is in the hands of the Afghan people, at the London conference this week for the first time. We're looking to see uh, Afghan leadership ahead of international partnership um, and for them to be setting the agenda. Uh, and that will be the agenda over the next year. The Afghans themselves need to resolve their problems with our support uh, and in the end uh, be able to govern their own country uh, and deal with their remaining issues um, with the uh, international community playing uh, a supporting but not as significant a role as we've played over the past few years. To achieve that stable Afghanistan and indeed the safer world that we need as a result uh, and deal with this threat of uh, extremism that arose there and, and found the safe haven there, uh, we need to stabilize Afghanistan um, and uh, in particular those areas that are currently uh, facing conflict. Um, that needs a comprehensive strategy. Security is absolutely critical uh, and the enhanced uh, military forces that are there this year under General McChrystal's leadership uh, will, in partnership with the Afghan forces, uh, I believe be able to achieve uh, real success to roll back uh, the insurgency and improve security. But that's only the first step. In the end, we have to win over the hearts, uh, minds and indeed the stomachs of the people of Afghanistan and that means delivering to them justice, decent governance um, and uh, jobs uh, and the, the, the economic opportunities that they need. Only if we can offer those things uh, and the legitimate authorities of Afghanistan can offer those things can we be sure that the people of Afghanistan um, will support the legitimate government rather than finding themselves uh, victims of the insurgency. So security is critical but in the end we will prevail only by providing governance development and indeed addressing some of those political tensions which underlie the insurgency um, over the next uh, year and indeed uh, beyond. And that's a task for all of us and I look forward to playing a role in uh, bringing together the international community uh, in a coherent way uh, and perhaps a more coherent way than has been possible in the past um, under the UN mandate to, uh, to, uh, to drive forward that agenda.